the basics about acetaminophen, some choices from alternative medicine, plus have a good time in Tambo Grande. In Peru today is May 28, 2023. I'm Nelson Peñarrera Castillo reporting from Sujana City. This is Life Connection. Recently I told you dengue has no cure. Like every disease caused by a virus, it only has treatment. Treatment can reduce the symptoms, but relieving symptoms doesn't mean the disease is over. However, if symptoms resume, maybe it means that the most complicated moment of the infection is overcoming. In that sense, be careful about the information with possible cures against dengue. So, what do we talk about acetaminophen? The two main inconveniences that dengue causes are fever and pains. Acetaminophen can deal with both, for sure. It's antipyretic. That means it helps to relieve fever. Also, it's analgesic. It means it helps to relieve pain. Again, if acetaminophen relieves fever and pains, it doesn't mean the dengue, the dengue is over. It only means it's relieving symptoms related to dengue. Other facts you must know is about acetaminophen. The existing medical literature says this antipyretic and analgesic continues to be one of the most effective medications in the world to reduce all those inconveniences. As a guide, when you listen about acetaminophen, think about number four. Pharmacists advise daily acetaminophen dose in patients 15 years old and older is, does not exceed four grams. Patients under 15 years old, especially children and babies, must require the approbation of the pediatrician. The pediatrician. The minimum time between doses is four hours. Also, treatment must not exceed four days. If symptoms continue or get worse, ask your doctor. In general terms, acetaminophen doesn't have secondary effects, but long treatments can affect the liver. Much more if you drink alcohol. Another pharmacist tip is that you take the doses between meals. So, absorption is eased better. Lactating, pregnant, and persons with immunodepression need a previous advice from the specialist. This information is based upon science. This information is not a medical bademecum. Ever ask your doctor before taking any medication. Go to reliable information sources. Also, you can get it on my social media. I'm at Nelson Suyana. Taking as prescribed acetaminophen shouldn't harm your body. Despite this, if you want to prevent any, any convenience, natural medicine can have interesting choices. I'd like to issue two warnings. First, the information I share doesn't replace acetaminophen treatment. Second, the information I share is not a cure against dengue or any other disease. So here we go, because you may have one of those at home. Mint, good for headache and muscle pains. Valerian, also good for headaches and muscle pains. Chamomile, it relaxes muscles. Ginger, good against headaches. Arnica, good against muscle pains. Clove, good against headaches and muscle pains. Turmeric, it relieves body pain. If you consume garlic in your diet, it's good against joint pains. Apple vinegar is good against muscle cramps. I bet you have at least one of those at home. Again, those food doesn't replace the acetaminophen treatment. So, don't pause it unless your doctor prescribes it so. Neither assume those products as a cure against dengue or any other disease. This information has been clinically validated. Go to reliable information sources. Also, go to my social media. Seek me as at Nelson Suyana. Changing the topic, but not the stage. We ever trusted on the touristic potential of Tambo Grande district here in Peru. The problem is all the initiatives have been isolated. Maybe no more. Tambo Grande district municipality has begun to register all the places with touristic potential across its territory. In fact, they're running against time because the line ends in July. 
the idea is making them overworthy so they can enter official catalogs for allow the tourism as an industry in that district. Just talking about one sector, Malingas, a factor survey between 2009 and 2011, found potential for experiential, archaeological and um, uh, adventure tourism. The survey was awarded in 2011 by Peru's Environment Ministry and Peru's Catholic University. The goal was turning it trendy by using the media. Also, it inspired a thesis for a tourism diploma at Cesar Vallejo University in Pura. Factor Tierra continues releasing sightings. At nearby sectors, there are other interesting spots. The King Carop and Las Palmeras de, Ran de Yaranche Coppers in Tejedores. El Ereon Mount between Valle de los Incas and Valle de San Juan. Santa Cruz Hill amid Tambo Grande City. Locuto Dry Forest. And we're not talking about the pilgrims uh, route from uh, Chulucanas to Ayabaca or the section of coastal Inca Trail. Tambo Grande district is located in the geographical middle of Fiora Department. Its area is about 554 square miles. It's, uh, this is a little smaller than Mexico City area. So if you have no plans, uh, consider Tambo Grande as an option. You can find it on factortierra.blogspot.com. Write Tambo Grande Tourism in the query box. Thanks for joining us. Follow us with the hashtag Life Connection and Nelson Life. Find me on the social media as at Nelson Suyana. From Suyana, Peru, I'm Nelson Peñarreira Castillo reporting. See you on the next Life Connection.